future of Catholic schools in our state after another closes its doors just weeks before school was set to begin. St. Mary's School in Newington deciding to close down without notice. So News 8's Tina Detail went looking for answers to find out if this is a new trend right here in Connecticut. St. Joseph's School is almost at capacity, but as you can see, there is still room for more students. Now, this school was once part of a consolidation similar to what is being seen now in Newington. Take care of yourself, all right? June 8, 2012, a heartbreaking day for this 120-year-old Catholic school in New London. St. Mary's Star of the Sea, like St. Mary's School in Newington, closed, leaving many wondering where their children would go next. Change is definitely not easy for anyone. Uh, transitions are also difficult. Father Mark O'Donnell was the pastor of St. Joseph's School, which took some of St. Mary's Star of the Sea students. You do your best uh, with what you have. Now, four years later, the two schools are consolidated, and the two parishes, along with Our Lady of Grace on Fishers Island, are clustered. Father Mark oversees them all. Not always the easiest thing to do. Henry Fiore, the incoming superintendent of diocesan schools, recently spoke about the advantages of a Catholic school education in an interview with Four County Catholic, saying students learn moral values and the value of prayer at an early age. He also discussed the challenges with the economy and birth rates down. These are difficult times for our schools. He says they are currently seeking ways to expand enrollment and seek alternative funding. And so is Father Mark, hoping to bring in new parishioners with a youth program in New London. Hopefully the Life Team program will uh, increase the vibrancy of the faith of the young people. Father Mark is hoping the congregation grows because with more parishioners they can fund more projects like this. The Barberi brothers here taking down the rectory to build a parking lot and that church it just underwent a 2.8 million dollar facelift. In New London, Tina Detell, News 8.